cyberbullying. Here's a video about cyberbullying. The suicide of a teenage girl in British Columbia is drawing attention tonight to the issue of bullying. Before she died, she chronicled online what she'd endured. Now, as Duncan McHugh reports, much of the response is also appearing online. The video is heartbreaking. A 15-year-old named Amanda. She never speaks, but recounts how she descended into depression and self-harm after months of taunts online progressed to attacks at school. She uploaded it to YouTube last month. Yesterday, she took her own life. She had changed schools a few times, but couldn't escape her tormentors. Now, classmates are in disbelief. This has been going on for a very long time. If I was her, I would have done it. Who would for to be bullied to the point where you have to, like, kill yourself? Like, I don't think that's right. It's not funny. are morning at the gym where she trained as a cheerleader. You think because on the exterior she was so tough and strong and would put up with so much that she could handle anything. And we're all breakable. School officials who knew of the bullying say they'd connected her with counselors. The uh, district was aware of the video that was posted, uh, was aware of this prior to her death, and that supports were in place. Condolences flooded Facebook, where much of Amanda's ordeal played out, and other social media. And she had to go through so much to want to kill herself, try and kill herself twice. Twice, not just once, twice. Like No one asks for it. It isn't a rite of passage. Bullying has to stop. Amanda herself recently posted a school project on cyberbullying, yet her online confessional mirrors similar stories of pain. Parents need to be aware that pretending it's not going on is not going to make it go away. It is just such, such a big issue. Tragically, Amanda hoped her video would help others. Now, YouTube has pulled it, and school crisis counselors grapple with its legacy. Duncan McHugh, CBC News, Coquitlam. What is cyberbullying? When you get bullied online, using hurtful words on someone's culture, the way they look, the grades they get, bullying, but online are on a digital platform. How do you cyberbully? An message, video, picture, you can be bullied, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Message boards, text message. Difference between regular bullying and cyberbullying. It's uncontrollable and can spread fast. The bully hides themse themselves behind the screen. Everyone can see the post, message, and picture. Effects uh, of cyberbullying. Suicide, anorexia, depression, anxiety. What can you do to help? Talk to a person who you trust. Stop friends from doing it. Beware of what you are posting. Ask yourself if what you are posting would be considered cyberbullying. Greg Duchenet, a 15-year-old boy, killed himself during his first year of high school when someone said, go kill yourself. He died October 20, 2002. Dahlia Wilson, Wilson was 15 when she jumped in front of a train because she was tired of being bullied. A student found her dead in the train tracks in North London. On October 7, 2003, a 13-year-old boy killed himself. Ryan Patrick Holligen was tired of being bullied at school. So discussion questions. Think back over the last two to three weeks have you posted, said, or made a comment that can be classified as cyberbullying? Two, have you, wit have you been witness to cyberbullying in our school? And three, what can we do to prevent cyberbullying at our school? Spend five minutes and talk about this as a class.
Please start the video again when you are done. Activity. One, read the article from CNN passed out to you by your teachers. Two, work in groups of six and create an anti-cyberbullying poster making sure to include a description of cyberbullying and at least one statistic either from the article or the internet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Deuces. <laughs>